<laughs> oh, this is fun. Big guy. You got a big one? I got a pretty nice one here too. Look at that, nice chub. Oh, he got a... <laughs> Jeff, are you ready to say something witty and funny? I am not. Party on, Jeff. But we're here and we're ready. <laughs> well, we're gonna be likely catching a bunch of creek chubs and green sunfish and maybe some, some bluegill or long ears. And uh, we're hoping to get into a little surprise large mouth or spotted bass or small mouth in here. So we'll see what happens. Hey, I'll show you all what we're using here. Just got to order these little mule jigs and plastics. That's a 1 60th ounce. That's a, or sorry, 1 80th ounce jig head with a little, uh, a little inch long minnow. That's been working good. And then Jeff's going to use this uh, one of those little crappie magnet heads. We'll just tip that with a Berkeley power maggot. And then we're just using really tiny bobbers. I'm stuck in a tree now, so I can't show you my bobber. <laughs> Here's my just a little a little peg float that I got from Mule Jig. So that's what we're using. We'll see you down there. You saw this leader down there. All right, this is so pretty here. It is. Did you bring the whopper ploppers, Jeff? I did not. You know, we need them for this pool. We, we need, need them for this pool. We need those 110 sizes. The 110s <laughs> for the light gear. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and get wet already. Why not? Why not, my not? You get first dibs on which side you want, Jeff? I'll, I'll take this right side over here. Cool. <clears throat> I'd say it's catch and release today. I'd say it's catch and release. I don't think these fish are worth cleaning. No. <laughs> there we go, fish on. First fish of the day. Oh, he got away. Chub. Big fish on, huh? Big fish on. Big fish. <clears throat> Dude, they're ha they're hitting this bobber. That's funny. There we go. First fish of the day. We got us a creep. Oh no, actually, got a little. Uh... Oh, he hit it immediately. You got one too. What's that? A little interesting colored. Uh, I guess. I don't know what that is. Is that a green sunfish? There we go. Pretty colors. Fish on for Jeff. Double header. We got to go on the tournament circle, man. All right, that's two. Well, this might be the smallest fish of the day here. Another little sunfish. If Jeffy's bobber goes down. Sure enough. There we go. Hey, we keep double heading, heading her it. Oh yeah? All oh, the highs and lows of trophy fishing.
<laughs> oh, this is fun. Big guy. You got a big one? I got a pretty nice one here too. Look at that, nice chub. Oh, he got a <laughs> little creek chub. Well, they're liking the liking the mule minnow. <clears throat> it's just the perfect size. This 180th ounce head is great for stuff like this. <clears throat> Chubs fight pretty good. That makes for some great catfish bait right there. Say hi to everyone. Oh, everyone. There we go. Number 10. We'd be we'd have to clean a lot of these to have enough to feed one person. Good thing we're not starving. Oh, I got a monster here, Jeffrey. These green sunfish, they can be aggressive. one of the monsters of the pool so far. This little plastic's holding up great. It's a perfect size little jig head too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have a good time. She's caught some pretty big catfish in her life. She's got a little spoiled, like if she can't go out and catch like a big catfish she kind of thinks it's not worth her time you know oh, yeah. she doesn't really have the patience for smallmouth fishing i love smallmouth fishing she likes bluegill fishing too just because you know it's a lot of action yeah yeah they definitely got our number uh, oh boy He up and your he did. That would have been our whopper plopper. I know. I'd like to see that one come back. Hey, finally. Did you get one? Yeah. Numero 12. This one actually might be a bluegill. That's your 12? Yeah, this is my first bluegill. The rest have all been greenies. Yeah, that's a bluegill. I had one, that first one I caught was a bluegill. See, if we stay long enough, breakfast might be ready for us when we get back. Yeah. Strategy. Hey, smallmouth. No, just kidding. Another bluegill. That little bluegill? Yep. I think that's 13 so far between us. I think I only have five. I still love you. Yeah. There we go. 
Little chub. Little chubby boy. Hello, Mr. Chubby. See you, bud. I'm about 14 inches below. That seems like that's been about the best depth for me. Ah, I missed one. Right there, I missed one where you are right now. There we go. <clears throat> oh, the chub bites firing back up. Seventeen. Ah, it's a little better one. Just couldn't help it. Yeah, I've done really well on uh, bluegill and even catfish and crappie on these little these little power maggots. They're just so easy to work with and they stay on pretty good. Yeah, they do stay on really well. I started using those crappie nibbles last year and they work, but they they tend to come off the hook pretty easy. Yeah. These stay on better. There we go. I think that's number 20 right there, Jeff. Not a bad little outing. Yeah, uh, me too. There's a good little spider. That the fish of the day or what? Wow, that is a good one. That's nice bluegill. Awesome. I think that's the biggest of the day, it looks like. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming along on another adventure, everyone. Would appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe and comment. I love reading your comments. I still got a lot to learn about fishing, so if you got any tips or advice, let me know. And Jeff, what's that they always say? A bad day's fishing? Good day at work. <laughs> or a kick in the head, right? Bad day's fishing ain't a bad day. I don't know if you caught that I probably did. Really?